Hello everyone, welcome to today's episode. So today we are talking about a unique gifting option that we can all use this season of giving. So this is called redesign of jewelry. So I found this concept really intriguing for two reasons. Number one, it makes us feel good because it's actually environmentally friendly. Number two, this gives us an opportunity to gift something of sentimental value to someone close to us. Are you intrigued yourself? I'm sure you are. So let's dive into today's episode. So let me introduce you to today's special guest, Sunesha Peruma, who is the founder and creative director at Tresuria. Tresuria is a jewelry workshop and design studio focused on purposefully designed and handcrafted jewelry. They carry a collection of ready-made jewelry for both men and women. They also offer their customers the opportunity to create their best book jewelry, where they actually can see it come alive at the Tresuria workshop. And one of their unique services is redesigning existing jewelry using age-old techniques of handcrafting. And that is what we're going to explore today. So let's say hello to Sunesha. Hi, Sunesha. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks, Arundhati. Thank you for having me. Thank you for reaching out. You're very welcome. I'm so excited to have you, um, especially uh, because of the recycle, you know, angle of this, you know, how you have uh, really brilliantly named it, uh, renamed it as uh, Redesign of Jewelry. And I'm sure my audience is really going to find this valuable. So thank you so much again. So um, let's jump into the uh, questions. Yeah. Okay, so my first question is, what are the benefits of redesigning jewelry? So uh, there are several benefits of redesigning or repurposing um, old jewelry uh, compared to buying a completely new piece. First of all, it's uh, cost effective and you have all the material. We just come in with the expertise and craftsmanship and we create uh, a piece that is unique to you. Then because you have all the material, it's very environmentally friendly because we don't, I mean, it, all the material is ethically sourced and things like that. And added to that, um, your piece will be crafted by hand, which is, which uh, enables you to add your own design flair to it. And um, it's your own one of a kind uh, little treasure. Uh, and at the same time, you get to keep that sentimental value of the old piece. I mean, maybe it's something that your grandmother handed down to you or a, a gift from a very, very close friend. That intangible value of the original piece can remain with you in your new piece. So there's uh, other benefits that uh, I see in redesigning jewelry. Right. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's amazing. Really interesting. <laughs> Thank you. So my next question is, how can people redesign jewelry? Like, how does it happen at your studio? So um, if you no longer wish to wear a piece of jewelry in its original form, uh, but want to create something modern and something you wear every day, then our redesigning service is like a really good solution for you. So we can reuse the materials that you bring, uh, reset a gemstone uh, and use the essence of your original piece to get inspiration to create something entirely new for you. So all you have to do, really do is bring your um, existing jewelry, even if it's half an earring or a piece of a pendant or we can use all the material you give us and then uh, we just add our um, craftsmanship, take some inspiration from you, and then we create an ultimate piece that uh, you can bear every day. Um, yes. Right. That's amazing. That really sounds really amazing. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Great. Thank you so, so much for those answers, Sunesha. Um, so now we're going to jump into the rapid fire. So this is just silly fun, right? <laughs> Just uh, nothing serious. Um, just tell us the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? okay? So my first question is, what do you do during your free time? Um, so I, free time, I 
love to experiment here at the studio uh, with like techniques, um, different, different uh, crafting methods and stuff like that. And uh, I love cooking and I love to experiment uh, in the kitchen. So nice. those are my favorites. Okay, awesome. So my next question is, what's your favorite TV show? Uh, I love Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I don't know why. It's just so <laughs> hilarious to me. And it's just, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, really watching but, it these days, really. Oh, good. Awesome. Yeah, I watched it twice too. Yeah. <laughs> um, what scares you? Creepy crawlies. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and what was your favorite subject in school? Commerce was my favorite subject in school. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Okay. And um, it was okay at the start, and then I really got into it. And uh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Um, and uh, are you like a go with you know kind of a go with the flow kind of person, or are you like planning, planning? What, no, I'm going with very much go with the flow kind of person. Sometimes I do plan, and then. Uh, go with the flow is also because sometimes you know things happen and you can't really stick to the plan so it's just flow plan flow yeah <laughs> awesome good good thank you so so much Sunesha for joining today um I hope you had fun uh we actually learned a lot me and my audience we learned a lot about this uh, topic so thank you so so much for joining Thank you so much for reaching out to me, Arundhati, and uh, giving me the opportunity to share about my brand, Trisuria. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Um, I will be mentioning her links down below, so you can reach out and check her page and her studio. Um, thank you so much, and I will see you all next week. Bye for now.